was a night of celebration as the Redeemed Church of God Resurrection Parish, Lekki, Lagos, celebrated Mrs. Bolaji Dada, Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Lagos State, and Mrs. Funke Egbemode, Commissioner for Information and Civic Orientation, Osho State, on their appointments as commissioners. I'm happy to be here today to uh, commemorate with my colleague, uh, Mrs. Cecilia Dada, the Honorable Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. Cecilia Bolaji Dada, currently the Honorable Commissioner for Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation in Lagos State, has worked extensively in the public service with about 20 years experience at both local and state government levels as an executive. Friends of Mrs. Cecilia Dada were keen to share their well wishes at the occasion of the celebration. We were in nursery school together, we were in primary school together. We went to last week together. She followed me there as well. Then, when I got into politics, I found her idea. Still tagging along. I'm like, what, what is this problem? Why are you following me? And then we are both privileged to be serving with His Excellency Governor Wabadide Sawoli again in the same cabinet. So you see, she's really following me. But I think she's already, she's my very, very good friend. And um, we've been together for over 35 years. And um, we've been through big and thin together. Um, we travel together, we go for holidays together, our children are always together. And Bolaji, people come here. She's very warm, she's very this, she's that. But Bolaji, she's a very, very blunt and straight person. If she wants to do something, she will do it, and if she doesn't want to do it, no matter how it's my dollar, she will not go. It's been a long time coming, and first of all, I want to give God all the glory. Um, she has put in a lot of hard work in every step of the way, and to see her grow to this extent has been marvelous, so we're very grateful to God. Pastor Pande and his wife, they're not just pastors, they are parents. I was just telling Kay that how does Pastor Pande stay on the altar and see people who are sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> only, it's, it's only in that parish, as big as the auditorium is, there is no Sunday that he does not catch somebody sleeping. <laughs> my job is to ensure that my governor looks good and the state looks good and everybody sees what the state is about and what the governor is doing to change the lives of the people who elected him. And I expect her to continue to be a God-fearing lady that she has always been and to continue to be hardworking and prayerful. <laughs> loving person I know. She is strong. She has a strong mind. When she believes um, in something, she goes ahead to do it. She's, um, yeah, she, she's a strong woman and I want to be like her. She teaches me every day how to be strong and how to take up for life. So yeah, I thank God that she's my mother. I really thank you so much. And I thank the church and I thank everybody for coming. And we may all be celebrated in the name of Jesus. We are encouraging them to go out there and shine. They are the light of the world to go and make impact so that they will know that Christians are there to set examples for others to follow. When they started her career as a staff writer in the defunct Prime People magazine, she joined the Punching Papers in 1993 until 2000 when she was appointed editor of the Post Express. Since then, she has been associate editor of this day pioneer editor of the Saturday Independent and also editor of the Sunday Sun for five years. Mrs. Funke Egwemode's well wishers were equally enthusiastic to share their well wishes. In terms of our achievement, it's not just a legacy for the new telegraph where she is the managing director and buying a property. And I'm not talking of somebody just making things happen. She made it happen for new telegraph the Nigerian Guild of Editors now has Editor's House, a property that is ours because of her vision, 
because of our innovation, because of our commitment, I thank God for your little achievement. I can, I can assure you, I know you are good people. And by God's grace, we will get here in Jesus' name. Thank you very much to church for honoring her and her colleague. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Bola Jia and Funke, we trust to good health. We trust to success. We trust to long life. Prosperity. Amen. And that we will make it at the end. Amen. I can see everything. It's coming, coming new. It's coming, coming, turning around for my good. We do believe that people need to be celebrated. We are a church that wants to believe that church should be formed. Church should be real. We are grateful to God that God is lifting up people. The joy of every pastor should be that you came this way and after a little while you are going up. By the time we part ways, we should be up there. And I'm believing God that every one of us who are connected to us to me, very, very soon, you are the next to be celebrated. Yeah. Even if you couldn't say amen. Yeah. I am saying I'm praying and I'm believing God to answer me that you are the next to be celebrated in Jesus' name. Very, very special daughters, exceedingly diligent people, people who have worked hard, People that we know God is taking higher. So they are special to us, yeah. They are meant to go and shine. So we, we bring out stars. So they are going to do their work, different from other people, to show that they are children of God. That's our expectation. Oh, my God.